Hey, what's up, guys? Pot of Pictures here. I'm doing a part two of the Photoshop tutorial series, and in this part, we're going to <coughs> um, be doing mouth animation in Photoshop. So, what you want to do first is take the picture you want and copy and paste it twice. Um, you want to do this instead of taking two to three pictures, be just because you don't want the camera to shake at all because if it does that it could make you people not want to watch it because it could be annoying now you want to name this mid because this will be the mid mouth and then this will be full so the mouth will be completely open in this picture so full now we want to go into photoshop right here We'll go to we'll just double click and import these three pictures. Now you see up in the corner, this one you don't need to do anything to. This is the basic picture of Dudley talking. Now you want to close out of this. Now this is the mid, so you're going to want to go up, right into his mouth. It looks a little blurry, but not too big of a deal. And then you just want to just basically just trace, and then blur that tool. I think this is the blue, the blur tool, yes. And you want to do a little blur. I don't do this on all my animations, but this one, since it's a close-up, I definitely want it to look better than other ones. Okay. Sorry about that. Now we're going to be going doing the same thing here, but we're going to go a little bigger. So we're going to go on this top half. Okay. And you're going to go to the bottom half and kind of round it off. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, just you're going to want to just blur to give you a better sense of it. Okay, so that's what the pictures are going to look like completely edited. This was a very uh, short tutorial, but now what we want to do is I'll play you the sequence. Okay, so now it's open. See, that's the open, medium, closed. So, then it'll go play like this. Pretty good. And this can be done in GIMP, which is I'll pull that up too real quick. Close the audacity. Um where is it? Right here. You can do the exact same thing in GIMP. So yeah, you don't have to worry about that. And in the future you can expect more Adobe Photoshop tutorials and more Adobe After Effects tutorials. See you next time. This is Potter Pictures.